Thank you. I'm someone who spent 30 years working in publicly funded law, as no doubt are many people here today. And I'm proud that I work in a system which is the envy of the world. It isn't enough, or it's not good enough, to say we'll have a system that's adequate. We have a system which we all work hard in, and it's disappointing the extreme to be back here facing yet again civil service driven proposals when before the last election the conservative party policy on pct was absolutely clear dominic grief said no yes. you can't take a leap in the dark with something as important as criminal justice it has to be trialed the liberal democrat policy was straightforward i know i wrote it no cuts no pct without trialling and looking very hard for alternative sources of income. Because we recognise, as everyone here will recognise, that year after year of cuts, failure to keep up with inflation and so forth, have made it very difficult for a lot of businesses to sustain a presence and do what they're good at, which is to represent the disadvantaged. So how are we here again facing this sort of thing? Well, as Jerry just said, Grayling rather let his uh, hem slip on Monday when he talked about people who required legal aid services not really having much interest in the quality of them. Would he say that about a doctor, a brain surgeon, you're going into your operation? Well, he's probably all right, but he's too thick, this patient. We, we don't need to worry about him. Inside the Liberal Democrat Party, there is strong opposition to the fundamental proposals in this paper. And we will fight it in the party, but it has to be across all parties. They have to understand that the political cost of what they're proposing will be significant to them. Grayling is undoubtedly a very ambitious man. He'd be quite happy to be going buggering up some other public service in three years. But it has to be stopped now. And I don't know what you thought when you read the consultation paper. I just wondered how low can standards of public service be when you have the government, the state that prosecutes people, proposing to bribe defence lawyers to get their clients to plead guilty. It's a disgrace. <laughs> to bribe lawyers to keep the case as short as possible, irrespective of the interests of their client. Again, it's an absolute disgrace. These proposals are a fundamental attack on the British justice system and they're unnecessary because there are alternative ways of funding. We've got to find ways of meeting the public deficit. But cutting yet again, putting Eddie Stobart, Tesco, other people, commoditising individuals who are vulnerable, who need our support. Everyone here will know the time and effort it takes to deal with people who are facing the law and don't have the capacity themselves to deal with it. It can't be left to large organisations whose only interest is in profit. We've got to fight, we've got to stick together. They've finally managed to unite solicitors and barristers, united, and if they insist on going through with these proposals, I hope everyone with a VHCC case, if they cut the briefs, if they cut the fees, will be handed back the very day they do it. No one will bid, no one will tender. Let's stop them in their tracks. Thank you very much, Alistair Webster QC.